Hey guys, what's going on? It's Brandon from Premier Fitness Systems here today to talk about lack of scapula mobility and stability. This is one of the major imbalances that we see with most of our amateur golfers. And today I'm going to give you guys some awesome exercises to start to correct that. Okay, so the first step is to address what, what the scapula has to do or what it should be able to do through all planes of motion. So let's first talk about, about range of motion or position of our body. So we have, we have protraction, we have retraction, we have elevation, and we have depression. For the most part, we want our shoulders or our scapula to be in a neutral position. But because of our daily demands, we tend to have restrictions or imbalances in our posture. We sit, we drive, we do all of those things. Now, if we have a forward posture, if we have a seat posture, what that's gonna do is make it very hard to hold spine angle as we rotate and very hard to control power. So in a rotary sport like golf, we need two anchor points. We need a point of stability and a point of stability to be able to control and create rotary power. So without scapula stability, without the ability to put it in the right position, we can't control power. The first exercise that we're gonna work on is just, is just protraction, retraction, working all planes. We want the shoulder girdle to start to rotate and drive through. I call this, or we call this here at Premier, we call this a diver drill, okay? So we're standing. I wanna make sure that I'm in a tough position with my my glutes with my pelvis, so I engage and I'm strong, that's gonna limit the compensation of my lumbar spine. And I'm gonna take my arms, I'm retracting, I'm protracting, and I'm rounding all the way through. Retract, protract, dive. Retract, protract, dive. You wanna feel the scapula come back, right, around, and all the way through. And we're gonna do that with a little bit of tempo for 20 repetitions. The second drill, I'm gonna get into a quadra position. So I'm gonna get on my hands and my knees and I'm gonna work retraction, protraction of the scapula. So quadra position, I'm down hands and knees. Again, I want my lumbar spine to be stable and I'm going to retract, protract retract, protract, as far out as you can. It looks pretty simple, but you'd be surprised how many people are restricted and they can't get their scapula moving. The third drill or exercise of this circuit, we're gonna get into a seated position, and I'm gonna sit cross-legged. I'm posturing up as tall as I can, okay? Palms out, or hand, arms out, palms up, and I'm reaching, elevate, scapula, depress, back down, reach, elevate, depress, and repeat. Okay, the next circuit we're gonna address the stability component. So the first we're working mobility. And remember, mobility is not just flexibility. Mobility is flexibility with strength. You need both, you need to be mobile, but we also need, need to be able to control that range of motion. You cannot create power without, without control, right? You cannot, if you have all the range of motion in the world, but you can't fire or create power in that range of motion, that range of motion does you no good. So that is why we need stability as well as mobility. The next three exercises are gonna address the strength or stability component of your scapula. So starting, I'm gonna go off of our, our bars here, our stall bars. Now I realize a lot of you guys might not have access to stall bars. At your gym, you can use a Smith, a Smith rack, or even a regular squat rack because you just need a bar that's about chest height. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the stall bar. I'm gonna be, my back is gonna be to you guys. And I want you to think about the motion that I'm trying to achieve, which is a protracted out shoulder, a retracted and depressed scapula, shoulders. That's key, is it's down. We don't want to be elevated up. This is common because the traps are tight. 
I want the shoulder blade, the scapula to be depressed and down, okay? I'm grabbing stall bar, chest height. My feet are gonna come forward. I'm gonna allow my scapula to roll forward. And then I'm retracting and depressing. Protract, retract, depress. Protract, retract, depress. And what you would see if you were in front of me is you would see my arm actually rotate. So as I protract, my arms are going to internally rotate. And as I retract, they should externally rotate, which helps me set into my lat and the surrounding structure of the scapula. So again, internal rotation, retract, external, rota external rotation, depress. Out, back and down. Okay? Stability, we're addressing stability in the scapula. And this is probably one of the best exercises for scapular stability as well as pelvis or hip stability. It's a good indicator to see where you're at and to give you a gauge of are you improving in your scapular stability. So this is just a, a shoulder tap drill. Okay, we can do this a couple different ways. Initially, we'll get in a quadrant position. Okay, I'm hands, I'm on my hands and knees. My shoulders are above my elbow and wrist. I'm stacked, my knees should be under my hips. I want neutral position on my pelvis. My head is neutral, and without moving my body, I'm going to tap my shoulders. So left to right, right to left. Now again, that looks pretty easy, but you'd be surprised if your intention on that drill is to not move. Nothing is going to move or rotate. There's a lot of rotary stability happening. Now the progression is to get into a push-up position, same thing. Push-up position, stacking joints. I don't want to be here. I want my shoulders over my elbows, over my wrists. Give yourself a decent base. Core tight, nice and strong. Lift, left to right, right to left. And you might even see there, my body is moving a little bit. So once I'm warmed up and engaged, I can lock in. But that's something that I'm constantly working on myself that we use a lot because we want to be able to hold that position and not move as that point of contact comes off the ground. If you're moving, your core is weak, your pelvis is weak, your scapula is lacking stability. That's not a negative thing, it's something that we just need to work on. You can do all the pressing and pushing in the world. If you can't master that drill, we know your You've got some limiting factors as far as scapula stability and pelvis stability. So that is an awesome exercise to try, see how you guys do, and then start to work to get stronger. Okay, the last exercise drill movement we're going to address today is gonna to be the hardest. This is definitely a progression. This is something that you guys wanna to work towards, but you're more than happier to try this out to see how you stack up because you either be able to do it and move or you can't. And that again is an indication of where your scapula strength is. So this is going to be a active arching hang. Great strength stability exercise for activation strength in the scapula. And I'm borrowing this or stealing this from gymnastics. This is something that gymnasts have been doing for years to get activation in their scapula. So when they're doing ring exercises, ring ring drills, they're not just pulling with their big muscles, they're integrating, they're using their smaller muscles that again surround the scapula, so the rotator cuff, everything that's in there deep. If you do this, if you try this and you can't move, you know you've got some work to do, but again, that's, that's why we do this, that's why we work. So this exercise is going to be a active arching hang, I'm going to get up from the pull-up bar, I'm in a hang position, my goal is to retract and depress my shoulder blades, pinch them together, arch my body to the roof, come back down and repeat.
Again, guys, Brandon from Premier Fitness Systems. Hopefully these drills help you guys out a lot. You need scapula mobility, stability to be a great golfer. Start working towards this stuff and I promise you, you will see improvements. If you like what we do, if you like our videos, we appreciate if you guys subscribe to our channel, share our videos, like our stuff, check us out. And we also do online training. We do online coaching. We do online screening, program design. If that's something that you guys are interested in, please check out our, our website, contact us, we'd be happy to help you out. Thanks a lot.